Right, I've just come down that track off the area of Outstanding Beauty. If you go on up there, you come to the big wireless masts that you see from miles around. And you can get to Velvet Bottom from that way. Which was a way I thought of going back. Or you can go this way, where there could be a herd of cows at the bottom. So far I've been lucky and there's sheep in here but there are cows but whether the cows are out um, gone off to be milked I don't know Hello sheepies Striders. Striders. <laughs> yeah. Right, so there's the area of Outstanding Beauty over there. Some people that just passed. I've seen them earlier. They're walking really fast. They've been up. They've, um, when they, they were on the track what I was on, but they've also been up to the trick point by the look of it. And they didn't have to walk quick. Because they were up by the trick point. And uh, it didn't take them long at all. They must have been hammering down. And they've just passed me. They're really walking fast. I'm looking out for cow pack. It's not, there is old cow pack here. Lots of dried cow pack. There's also lots of sheep in here. But the cows are normally down in the lower fields. Because that is very dry cow pack. Very dry indeed. There's the wireless station again. Up there. Good reference points as I always point out. We're going down in the valley. In front of me I can see the trees of Black Rock. I can see. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Well, I can see. Yeah, I can see the trees of Black Rock mainly. Cheddar Gorge will be further over that way. This is where you're likely to get stung by um, horse flies now, being in a sheep field. See, once you start entering where animals are, you're, the likelihood of being bitten is a hundred percent more so got this a three-legged sheep there well, let me zoom in first time i've seen that oh no god it looked like you only have three legs for a minute it was the angle <laughs> sorry sheep you look you only have three legs Yeah, so there we go, over there. The area of outstanding beauty. It looks very barren. But as you've seen, where I've walked, it's full of lush green ferns. And lots of wild flowers. So though you look at it like that, it looks very barren and whatever. There's hidden, it's a big burial mound, basically, that is. It's an ancient mo monument to the dead. 
there's lots and lots of hidden burial mounds up there. Some of them aren't hidden, they're obvious. You know, they've got mounds. All on other videos, I've recorded this area a lot. Sometimes in a lot more detail. So I'm doing a bit of a video. Although I've done it on other videos, I don't think I put them all on the western site. I wasn't sure if we were allowed, because it's not, not really western, is it? But it is Somerset, and people like to come out here from western. So some people might think this isn't relevant to western. Well, it is in a way, because this is within reach of western, if you want to go for a walk in the countryside. And at some places you get beautiful views of Weston. Right, very old, very, very old cow pack here. Yeah, very old. No sign of fresh yet. I mean, because where I'm going, these cows have even been known to mingle in these bushes here. I've always been lucky so far. It could be that they're all being milked and I've just struck the time right, you see. It could be that they're all at the bottom of the gate when I get down there. But I said, very old. So I'm doing a good video for you all, everyone. Further in the distance over there, we've got Wells, W-E-L-L-S, the Wells big signal pole there on the hill, the other side of Pretty. Longwood is over there, and she sits long. I might be going in there, I haven't decided yet. It's cool walking through there, I might do. I'm really got to see where I stand with the cows. Mind you, these fields do look very munched. So it could be that the, um, the cows are in other fields at the moment, because like I said, the, the grass has been chewed right down, and the, the sheep are good at doing that. But so are the cows, so it looks what I call very munched. The water tank is empty as well, here. You wonder how the sheep drink, don't you really? That will fill up overnight if there's a big downpour though. It don't look very healthy though, look at all that red stuff in it. Looks like they come down here though. That's rust in it. So, look back again where we've come, from right over there. We've walked all around the area of Outstanding Beauty, through small tracks, high ferns, lots of little trees and shrubs for shelter, passing the base of the Iron Age Fort, up through a peaceful, quiet valley, just one or two people. Last time I came here, wasn't that long ago, one of my walks I did, it, wasn't, it was a couple of weeks ago, not the one I did West Mendip Way, not that one. Um, this was very, very covered with cow pack, not sheep. This is all sheep, this stuff. Cow pack was everywhere. And... Um, I got a bit worried. It was very fresh as well. It was fresh cow pack. As you can see, I'm going downhill now. 
We should emerge at a stile in a moment. We'll emerge at a stile. And then we've got to go across the field where I know there's quite often cows. But whether they are being milked now and they won't be hanging about, because normally they're in that field in there, see? Just go up and have a look, see if we can see anything. Because I've got to be able to take evasive action if necessary. Well, you have to be careful, I'm sorry, but I don't care what people say. I was always very complacent and very easy and would walk amongst the herd, quite relaxed. I've done all that. Yeah, I ain't scared of cows, I used to say. For years. It's only, it's only about three years ago. Two or three years ago that I was chased on two occasions. You know, I'm talking about most of my life. Over 60 years. I, w I could be cheeky and say, oh no, they won't hurt you. Just walk straight through them. Even farmers, the farmer not long ago got trod to death by his own cows. So, rather than put myself at risk, I tend to avoid them. But I still do put myself at risk, because I have to skirt them, even if they're in the same field, and hope that I can get to the gate before they. Most of the time, I must admit, they do leave you alone. But if they've had a bad experience with somebody else with a dog, for example, they're on their guard. If they've got calves, they're on their guard. Now, they're normally in here. Last time I came, they were all in there. Now, that cow pack does look more recent. But most of it looks very, very dry indeed. But there is some recent stuff. Just got to look down there. Because there's a great big cow watering hole down there. Possible that they're in being milked or they've been moved. Right then, I'm going to turn off now. <laughs> 